Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make a comparison video for free with PowerPoint. We will try to model this channel, watch data, and as you can see all their videos have the same format and they are really simple to produce. And if we go to Social Blade, you can see that these simple videos that I will show you how to make, they are earning this YouTube channel almost a half a million dollars a year. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, first of all, we're going to add a background. I'm just going to right click on the empty slide and click on Format Background. And I'm going to add a solid black background. But you can choose whichever color you like. I'm going to do a black one. Then we will create the cards like the one you see here. Uh, this card is made up of three rectangles. We're going to go ahead and add the rectangles. Don't worry too much about the dimensions. Just make sure that the width of all three rectangles is the same. We will also add color to the rectangles. You can do whichever color you like. Then we will add a text box, a hexagon and uh, another text box that we'll put our number in. Of course, go ahead and uh, modify the hexagon and the text, you know, add color, uh, add uh, shadows, etc. Okay, when you finish creating your card, you are going to select every element and you're going to group them. Either by right clicking and selecting group or by, or by pressing Ctrl and G. Okay, then we're going to copy and paste the card we just made and we're going to align them and to be sure that uh, all the cards are aligned uh, correctly just select them all and go to shape format aligned and align them uh, horizontal and vertically okay now we're going to add our elements uh, we'll be using some flags for this example and the good thing about PowerPoint is that you don't have to download the elements you are going to be using. You, just, you can just go to uh, Insert, Screenshot and Screen Clipping and you can select the area of the screen you want to use and PowerPoint will automatically insert it in your slide. Okay, now that I have all my elements imported on PowerPoint, I'm going to check the width of the column and then I'm going to select all my elements, all the flags and set a fixed width for all of them. Then I'm going to add the numbers, which in this case is just a countdown from 20 all the way to 1. Then I'm going to start placing the flags in the order I like. And of course adding the name of the country as well and also make small adjustments along the way. Okay, now that we have placed everything in the right uh, position, we're going to group everything together and add our animation. Our animation is just a simple line that we just have to adjust so that uh, our last card, in this case Serbia, is at the end of the slide. Okay, then to make our animation smoother, we're going to open our animation pane and double click our animation, go to effects and change the smooth start and smooth end to 2 seconds and you press OK and then we're going to go to the top right corner of our animations and we're going to change the duration to about 30 seconds. Okay, then to see what the video would look like just go to the bottom right corner on slideshow and if you think it's too fast or too slow you can adjust the duration and slow it down or make it faster and that was it pretty much now all you have to do is go to the top right corner and click record uh, record your video and just export it Uh, this setup that we created is a very simple one. 
you can change the you can personalize yours you can change the color of the sails you can add bravel you can add shadows etc you can add the text on the hexagon you can put the picture on the hexagon you can put a text on the bottom you can add icons you can do whatever you want but i would recommend a simple and clean design if you think that the slideshow is very monotonous you can create an intro and to do that we are going to delete all the cards that are not appearing in the slide and we are going to duplicate the current slide and we are going to add new animations for each card you can add any animation you want, you can add the sound effect also I think this animation is pretty simple and the end result should look something like that Now all you have to do is to start searching for random statistics that you find interesting and start creating content. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you succeed with your comparison channel.